I want to ask this question because this thing's come up now. Did you spar Tyson Fury? I did, yes, yes. Did you want to tell us about that? Yeah, for the first three rounds, I don't think I landed a punch on him. And um, I did try and cut over my eye, all grazed on my face, and he said, do you want to stop? They paid me for 10 rounds of sparring, and I took me a guard for it, and I said, no, no, of course I don't. It was great sparring, it was fantastic sparring. I'm not a vicious man when I spar. <laughs> I enjoy doing it, I try things out, if you get caught, you get caught, if you, you know, I've been put on my ass once in sparring. Uh, everyone I spar, when I spar, some names, I really have. Uh, I've been put down, or flash knocked down by uh, the Cuban kid, Mike Perez. Yes, yeah. And then I got up and he didn't want to do round six after that, so. so tell us about some of the names that you spar with. David Lane. Mm -hmm. um, oh God, what's Purity, uh, RBI, oh Scott God, Wells. Scott Wells, Timmy, probably, he probably give me the most learning from any, any sparring. It was my second, same professional fight and we literally sparred day in, day out, day in, day out. I had lumps and bumps and he was a very, very hard sparring partner. Um, never dropped me. And then uh, the very last day of sparring, I remember catching him with a body shot. I think I cracked his rib and he had to pull out the European title shot. And it wasn't a, thing, it wasn't, it wasn't a vicious thing, it was just one of the ones that get caught. And uh, it, it probably landed 2,000 shots on me. And I landed this one punch in the whole of 70, 80 rounds of sparring we'd done. Uh, and you couldn't, you couldn't give me a million pounds, it wouldn't make me feel any better. It was, it was just the most amazing feeling. But that was the biggest learning curve of my career was, was um, with, with Scott Welch. Um, David A was good. We used to have some really good sparring sessions. And I had to, I had to get myself, it was almost like I had to get myself up to a fight when I sparred with David. I had to be switched on because he was the, the heaviest handed person I've ever sparred with. Um, I think it was just his speed. And like I said earlier, he hit me with an uppercut once and I swear someone switched off the lights and then he hit me with a right hand and then come back on again. And I can't tell you to this day what happened. I really have no idea. Legs weren't gone, my head weren't spinning. It was almost like someone had honestly just switched off the fuse and then switched a bit on again. But um, yeah, I've, I've, but I've, I think I give David more than he give me. Um, so so Mickey, do you, do you remember them sparring days? With, what were of your memories there? Yeah. Was there? Yeah. yeah. What, what, what do you remember about them? I wasn't there with the Tyson fight, I was, I'm normally there, but I wasn't there that day. But uh, I, like I said to you before, and, and we've done that before, that I, I, I used to spar with Scott. I used to do six rounds with people. Then I used to jump in with him. When I was big, I was like 20 stone. Mm -hmm. And he used me for my weight, sheer weight coming at him. Just push him around, didn't you? Yeah, I was pushing him around, that's what he wanted. And you know what, he called me uh, with a hook, and there's like, the light sort of went out, and I, I didn't go down, and it sort of flipped quickly like that and come back in, and I was all right, you know? Um, but that's the only time I've experienced the lights sort of flicked off for a split second. It's weird. Strange up feeling. So it's a weird, it's a weird feeling. It's a weird, you know, one minute you're there, you catch him with something and then he just growls and grits himself and comes back and bosh, you know what I mean? The left hook comes over and he's like, what happened there? You know, and he starts grinning and smiling at you, Scott. That's what he's like, you know what I mean? And you just go to steam him back in. It's, you know, it's a bit of fun at the time, isn't it? Did, did you spar with Mark? We used to mess about back in the day, yeah, but yeah. you know, we used to do a lot of go around sem doing seminars. We used to go to the Island, remember back in the day? Yeah. And we used to mess about. Dance around the ring, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How was that? For Good, it was fun. Yeah, yeah. listen, we're mates. We oh, know, I'm, I still I'm had that fear of Mickey when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so, I mean, was he scared of me? I bet he was scared of me. I bet he was going to be proud of me. Yeah. Like a pit bull. I mean, Mark was, he was, I think he was about 18 when his sort of sparring started, didn't he? 18, 19. Big curly hair. Oh, Big yeah. wavy curly hair, you know. So you don't put and that like, beard. honestly, he, he, I listen. I, I, I say I've been on the I've done this one. I don't know what I've done in my life, but he was a strong guy through his age, you know. Yeah, yeah. How old are you now, Mark? Forty-seven. Now. Forty-seven. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm 10, 11 years older than you, yeah. But um, for no. a ten-year, well, I'm fifty. <laughs> I'm, I'll be fifty-nine this year. You know what I mean? John keeps saying he's 56, doesn't he? But he ain't. He's, he's six months younger than me. Right. But anyway, but back in the day, I mean, set, you know, 10 years, 12 years difference with someone, but I could feel the power of Mark, you know, I could feel how strong he was. You know, I think he's just naturally gifted in that way. And he loved bodybuilding as well. Mm -hmm. So he, he combined the both together, which hence gives you the mix Fantastic. and the power. So Noel, what's your memories of all them sparring days? I'm glad it weren't me. <laughs> well, it was you, wasn't it? Actually, it was, was you, it was you, wasn't it? Yeah, it was me, but I don't know how to talk about it. Well, look at his nose. I was yeah. a punch bag. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was a tough cookie. You know, we've had 25 years of training. Maybe more. I, I remember getting bang. It just comes bang. all the time, doesn't it? Yeah, I get bang. I was out. And then, if I was joking, and then 
And then he hit me with another shot, woke me up, went, God, I'd love to sleep back in, sleep back in again, yeah. No, but you get in with anyone. There were two, come out once, he went, I went, me too. He went, if you come, show, go fucking go, I threw the two people. Never walk up to you, never walk up to you. Come no. again, no. fight again, you know what I mean? So it's just it, way Even like, Edgar's, you know, you didn't wear Edgar's till the, like, right at the end, really, you know? Yeah, just at the end, yeah. What, what was the difference sparring Mark and then sparring with Mickey? I could do what I wanted to him, he did, he did take the... I mean, I could do what I wanted to him, yeah? Well, I wanted to take the piss. No, no, <laughs> but he was really strong, right? <laughs> yeah. but Mark, Mark could hit me any time he wanted to, he just da 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 And I used to go, I used to pretend to hit this, I'd go, boom, hit him over the top. That's a... Get him over the top. He'd hit me, he'd tap me in, tap me in the corner protector, like smack me in the, the nuts and hit me over the top, like... You're obviously wrong. What am I laughing? Gotcha. Yeah, it's all fun and games, isn't it? Yeah. We're like happy family, aren't we? And that's what we've done for years. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Don't really hear a lot of people say bad words about boxers. Mm -hmm. um, I've probably met two guys who are stuck up their own asses and uh, not very nice people. But apart from that, the other thousands and thousands of boxers I know. Even this any of the fight, any of the fight, the, the kickboxing, the MMA, everyone seems to come together. Mm -hmm. like, like what um, Dan was saying earlier. You know, some people think, oh, I don't think you lost me very much. And then something like this happens, mm -hmm. and they all come out of the woodwork. Oh my God, come on, let's, let's do something, let's all get together. It's just really, it's a really nice thing. It's a really, really nice thing in the fight industry. So, um, it shows you how close it is yeah. with people. Yeah. Yes. Behind the scenes, you don't hear many, too many people giving, you know, give views of people, but when things like happen, what's happening with Mark, everyone shows their love, you know? Which is nice. Fantastic. Absolutely, Noel, you want to say something finally? Get to the show, boom. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Did it wrong. Will you actually get in the ring though on the night or will that be a difficult thing to do? You uh, think? I, I might come down and address the crowd, I might have a little chat. Yeah. Was that, was that, that wasn't the question, would you get in a ring? Yeah. <laughs> the answer would be, I reckon, it's yeah. going to be yes. Because yeah. he will. He will. He's like, I'm going to be gums all just in case. Well, you're in the ring match. Yeah. 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 Are you doing any sparring today, you guys, together? Nah, uh, we're going to eat. Well, everybody wishes you the absolute best, Mark <laughs> Potter. Thank you very much, Liam. It really means a lot. You've been. You, Filmed there's so many fights. Yeah, yeah so, so many times. Yeah, so many times. Years ago, so you've been there. You've been there with me through thick and thin as well. So I'll um, put you in some terrible films as well. You, know? you have, yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was the star. I was the star. I was the film star as well. I was the star. I, was the star. <laughs> I, was the star. I thought you were very good I'm, at it. I'm still, sure. for, I'm still waiting for the next film. I can be. Yeah. I can be some sort. <laughs> well, when you recover, we do another one. We'll put you in. We'll yeah, put you in the lead. We'll check. Oh, no, I can't yeah. no, 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 you know you beat the hero. You beat the hero. I've got shot here. Robin Reed shot me. Robin Reed. Robin Reed. That's an old name. Yeah, Robin Reed shot me. Do you know I used to like Robin Reed? You were very good. Tough, I thought. Yeah. Yeah. I was still waiting. I was still waiting for. The Oscar nomination. Yeah, it's never come. <laughs> Supporting actor. It's never got it. It will give it time. It'd be like a retrospective. <laughs> they still got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Full time. <laughs> yeah. Still got it. I still watch it. It's very good. Mummy and Charles. What film was that? Right. Killer Bees. Oh, Killer Bees. 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 Killer I think no, it's banned. It was banned. It got banned. Yeah, it got banned. It went to number one in HMV, so it was the biggest film in HMV. Really? Yeah, it was number one. And then it got banned from all the supermarkets, and it got banned from. It wasn't banned. You know what? So when you had the when you had the screening, the people walked out. That wasn't the one with what's your name from South London. Alex Reed was in it. No, uh, no, I'm thinking of the other fella. Uh, Courtney. Courtney. Courtney was in he it. He'd done yeah. something like that, didn't he? Yeah, Courtney was in it. Uh, He'd yeah. done something like that as well, yeah. didn't he? Yes, yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember Roy, seeing Roy that. Shaw was in it, Al Mark so, was in um, it, Carlton Leach was in it. They were when we had the swim with the screen, I took my sister. Yeah. The opening scene was like a sex scene. Oh, I think it was a midget, I'm sure. I remember. There was, was, was a midget in it. I remember looking at the scene, the, the, the <laughs> screen, looking at the screen, and my sister just looking at me. I went, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, he was 22 years of age. I was 27. I come over from South London. And I was introduced to Mark by Mickey Theo, who is Mark's dad's friend, Ray Potter, and, and Charlie Smith was his manager. So when they introduced me to him, I was doing the runs with Mark and doing his circuits. And we really got our lighthouse on fire, and obviously, even to this day, we're still good friends 25 years later. Since then, when we first met, Charlie Smith brought him to all the way up to fight Danny Williams for the British heavyweight title. Yeah? Um, Mark did lose it, but he was winning the fight. Yeah, it was a great fight, fantastic fight, and Danny went on to being nine years champion after that. What great people, what great times. It was a fantastic time back then. Um, and I'd like to thank Charlie Smith and Mickey Fio for, for uh, bringing me involved with Mark. And he made a very good friendship, and he had 25 knockouts with me on the unlicensed boxing. And he had five wins on the cage, and two losses on the cage fight. Uh, when he got disqualified, uh, and then when he lost. But a fantastic time. Mark's a lovely fella. He's going to beat this cancer. It's a dirty disease, but he's doing everything he's proud to beat it, and he will beat it. He's doing all his diets, he's doing his fasting, he's eating properly, and he will beat this. Mark, thumbs up to you. We love you. The show's on Friday. You're cool. Make sure you're there. Make sure you watch all the stars. Are going to be on that show. You got Julius Francis, who fought Mike Tyson. You got Danny Cadman, ex-professional. You got you got Michael Lomax, who was prize fight champion and really good fighter and brilliant amateur as well. You got Kevin Mitchell, another superstar. Tommy Downs, Jimmy McLean, all ex-pros, fantastic people. Thank you so much for what you're doing for Mark. We love you all and we love all the fans and everybody who sponsored Mark and help us through this sad time. But Mark's gonna be here. Thank you very much, bye.